Yes, the Navy came to this uh, conclusion when looking at the wreckage of the submarine that was just found this morning. And, and it surely does paint a grim picture. Now, after five days of frantic searching, the Indonesian submarine Kairi Nangala 402 uh, was found just this morning at about 9 a.m. Uh, Indonesian Central Time. And uh, in a press conference just about three hours ago, it was military chief General Hadi Cahyanto himself that announced that all its 50 crew member has perished. The sunken submarine was found at a depth of 838 meters, about uh, 1,500 meters from the location it was pointed missing. Uh, and this is in the waters uh, 16 nautical miles north of uh, Bali Island. And uh, this wreckage uh, was found this morning by a joint team, uh, including the uh, Indonesian Navy. Uh, the Navy Chief of Staff, Admiral Yudo Margon, explained that the Navy research vessel, Kairi Rigo, found it using multi-beam eco sounders because it was very difficult uh, looking at how deep it is and it was the uh, Singaporean boat MV Swift Rescue who sent an ROV or a remotely operated vehicle that actually found the location of the wreckage and I've said before uh, the condition is quite grim the submarine was found in uh, three big pieces parts uh, that are found are uh, the stern vertical stabilizer uh, the anchor and there's also a crew survival suit which the Navy said that, that should have been all inside the vessel and that the crew did not have time to come out. And wow. this depth, 830 meters, is 200 meters deeper than what the submarine was designed to withstand. And the Navy suggests that from the wreckage, uh, the submarine has passed its crushing depth, yeah. which is about 500 meters or more. And uh, based, on the, based on this evidence, the Navy has declared that all the 53 sailors have all perished.